All right, it's that time of the year again. You know, double money on the CEO creates business. I mean, this is like a, you know a dream or a wish come true for the grinders that do the creates business. Because trust me, this is the best time to do this business. I mean, literally any other business on double money is good, but specifically this one, because it's definitely not worth it when you're doing it on normal money. But when it's on double money, it's definitely worth it. You make like ridiculous amounts of money. I mean, a large warehouse pays you 4.5 million dollars, guys. That is probably, in my opinion, the highest single payout a business has to, you know, offer. Even the bunker tops out at 1.1 and even the nightclub is around that range itself. Only the craze business goes to 4.5 million dollars, guys. So, you know, if you are up for grinding or if you have like friends that helped you or in general, if you just love grinding at all, you can make like ridiculous amounts of money with this business. I mean, at the end of the day, it is a very repetitive business and it feels too grindy, so it's not everyone's cup of tea. But to those that love it, it's just great. And before we get in, I just want to say this for everyone. If you are just starting out, like if you are a new player, if you bought the warehouses just now or just about you know investing into this business for just this week, then I would say it's not the best ways to you know grind for this week. I mean, yes, there is a good amount of payouts, but the same thing, if you do for the Cairo Perico heist, I mean, the same amount of time you grind these trades, if you dedicate the same amount of time for grinding the Cairo Perico heist, you'll probably be making more than double the money you'll be making from the trades business. Because that's how ridiculously profitable the Cairo Perico heist is. I mean, per hour, you can make like 1.5 to 2 million dollars, roughly, you know, giving an approximate. But with this, it's not the same case. But nonetheless, if you're up for it, then definitely go for it. The best way that I suggest everyone and my method of grinding these crates business in normal is doing one three right, crate supply run for all of the warehouses that we own. So I own like five warehouses. So per day, I would do like one three crate supply run for all of them. So in a month, I would have like all of those warehouses filled to 90 to 95 percent. And when the double money even came, because you know, they're not like very frequent or anything. They come like, you know, once in three months or something. So when the time came and we would sell it, we would be rewarded with a huge amount of money. I have made so many grind runs earlier, 16 million, 17 million, 20 million, my highest till date being the 22 million dollars in one day video. I literally had grinded these crates and when there was double money on them, I sold them and made 22 million dollars guys. And trust me on this, I do this completely solo, like all the grind runs, all the, all the sales. Back in the day, I used to have like friends that would help each other during the sales, but majority of the times, like 90 to 95 percent of my grinding is completely solo. The grinding that I did for this present week, too. If you saw my weekly updates video, you would have seen that my warehouses were just at about 30 percent capacity filled, so you know, the other 70 percent had to be grinded, and which I did. Some of you might call it crazy or I have lost my mind, but you know, I just did it for the old time's sake. Nothing else. It was not for the money or any of that. It was not for grinding or anything. I just, you know, did it for the old time's sake, just for the feeling of that. And that's about it. And the good thing with all that is that it actually pushed my bank into 400 plus million dollars. So crazy jump right there. And I've made about 20 million from this grind run. So not like the 22 million, but a decent 20 million dollars. So it was quite good, you know, kind of hectic and uh, grindy a lot, but I just did it for fun, nothing else, not for the money, definitely not for the money. Cause you know, I have earned or I've grinded more than I can even spend. So there's literally no point in me grinding and wasting time on these. Yeah, that was the whole point of me doing this grind run. That's literally it, guys. As you can see, I have four large warehouses and one medium warehouse. I actually had small warehouse, but you know, I changed it up for the medium one long back. 
and i use the medium one for storing the special cargo crates that is you know little more expensive and also little more valuable than the normal ones these are really worth it in my opinion as they go for 10 times the money so those are all the warehouses that i have four of the big money makers and one for the special crates and just leisure amount of crates that's about it so from the 30% capacity I had to grind to 100% capacity and uh, yeah it was a good grind run. I used the most efficient ways you know teleporting back to the heist apartments or using the fast spawning features so they will literally help a lot and also you know save you a lot of time including the terabyte if you don't have the terabyte man I mean you're losing out on a lot. The terabyte helps you a lot, trust me on this. The terabyte, the oppressor mark 2 and even the latest arcade with the master control terminal, even they help a lot. As you don't have to you know, run back to the office every single time. Scatter these all across like right near to your warehouses and it is going to be saving you a ton of time. It. So definitely think about that when you buy properties. Try to be more efficient so it can you know save you time and also make you money faster. And uh, if you're looking for, you know, tips, tricks or suggestions, then I've actually made detailed videos earlier and also a complete tutorial of the crates business. So if you have not seen that, then I suggest you take a look into that because I've covered a lot of tips, tricks, suggestions, for all those fast methods as well. So take a look into that video. I'll be linking it at the top as well as at the end of the video. Now, like I said in the earlier time, if you are someone like me and did the grinding like stretching it out for a month you know doing grind runs every single day storing it up it would be beneficial for you like even if you didn't have a fully filled warehouses or if you had filled like 50 percent of them then it would be a very good grind run if you're starting out then it is going to be really a lot of grinding work for you guys i mean i'm not discouraging you but i'm just telling you the reality of what you'll be facing so be ready for the grinding work and it actually you know pays off at the end it's not like very less compared to the chiropractor heist i mean if you did the chiropractor heist for 10 hours it would probably give you like 15 million dollars i think 15 or probably even more i'm not sure because it depends on the primary loot and all those stuff but if you do the same for the crates it's not that much because four large warehouses will give you somewhere about 17.3 million dollars so in order to fill the four large warehouses it takes up two days so even if you take it like exactly 20 hours or 24 to 25 hours you get like 18 million dollars from the crates but if you put the same 25 hours into the chiropractic heist you'll probably be making like 40 million dollars close to 40 million dollars I hope you get my idea if you're really into it then go ahead if you are into making money depending on the time ratio then i would suggest go with the chiropractor but at the end you know it totally depends on what your preferences or what your likes are so yeah it's up to you guys but nonetheless this was my journey and in the end like i said earlier i reached the 400 million dollar mark all of this is completely legit grinded money. None of these are hacks or mods or anything. I've never used any of that for online. So yeah, this was my grinding journey guys. And also all of the important videos for tips, tricks and easy methods will be linked at the end as well as in the description down below. So make sure to check them out as well. And yeah, do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you all and have a good day.